everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye, and this is my world. Today's topic is dating a man with bad kids. Dating a man with bad kids. Before we get started, I'd like to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all the new viewers, the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now, to get us started, I did pull a short video, and we have a letter. Then we're going to dive right into this topic. Let's watch this video, and here we go. Dating a man with children is not a good thing. If you feel like you have to at this point, you're 30, you're 40, you're beyond, and it kind of goes with the territory, hear me out. This is not a good thing. Nothing against fatherhood. Fathers are amazing. However, being a father does not mean that someone is going to be more selfless, more mature, more empathic, more, you know, together, or even a better father. It does not signify that. Just because they have kids, they can still be toxic. They can be still be a narcissist. They can still treat their partner, meaning you, poorly. Even if it appears that they're a good father, that does not translate into them being a good partner. And you have to think to yourself, what am I actually looking for here? Okay, let's dive into this topic. She says, I'm 31 years old and my fiance is 45. His boys are ages 10 and 13. So far, we have known each other since 2020, but we finally met face to face in 2022. I met his boys for the first time in 2023. It took him a whole year to bring up these kids. You, know, you see, he, he's taking it slow because he knows when you bring up kids, most times it's a deal breaker. So that's why he took it slow. You know, he talked to you for a whole year to see if you go hang on. Then he he let you meet him after that after that year. In fact, it took you two years to, to uh, meet him face to face. Two years. And then it took him a year before he popped up with these kids. Okay, let's see what else you say. At first, they weren't speaking to me when they came around. Well, of course not. They don't know you. And uh, as far as these kids are concerned, why are you with their father? They, they got a mother. Who are you? So that's why they're not speaking to you. He had to tell them to speak when entering someone's home. Both boys have anger issues to against you. You're darn right they got them. The 13-year-old just got put out of regular school for assaulting someone. So apparently, I'm just guessing that whatever's going on uh, with him and his this the mother of uh, these kids, the kids are acting it out in school. A lot of times that happens, and that's why kids fight in school and get in trouble in school because of things that are happening at home. And now here you come pop up in the mix. He's now in an alternative school. Well, that's too bad. I asked my fiance why his boys are the way they are. He said it's because they live with their mother who also has mental issues. You know what? I have yet to meet a man to have something good to say about a woman that he broke up with. Okay. This woman could be perfectly sane. He could be the one with the mental issues and a whole lot more. Okay. He wants to move his boys to our home to change their behavior, but I really don't know. Okay. You ask my advice and I give you a big no, no, hell no. Do not allow this man to bring his kids to your home. And another thing, you said our home. You and this man living together? You didn't say that in the letter. 
you know, when you saw him face to face between 2022 and 2023, y'all found a home together. You see, it's a whole lot of backstory in this. And how long have you been dating this? Well, you did say that you met in 2020 and uh, you only saw him face to face in 2022. So you must have met him online. Where, where did you meet him that you didn't see him face to face until uh, two years later? Mm-mm. This don't sound good. Mm-mm. I wouldn't do it. I would not. I would not entertain this. Okay. Number one, you held on to him for two years. I don't know why I did that. And and th- because, well, let me tell you something. Men that you meet online, and I'm assuming that you did, because you say you didn't see him face to face until uh, two years later. When they meet you and you hang on this long, communicating with them, they figure that you're desperate. You are desperate. Okay? And then you feel more obligated because you have put so much time in it. You've invested two years in it. And now when you finally see him after two years, you decide you want to move in together? Because you said our home. You didn't say my home or his home. You said our home. That means you live together. All right. Now, after a year, here he come with these kids. Uh-uh, you, you, you caught up in a whole scam No, no, no. And, and the kids, and you say they're bad. You know why they're bad? They don't know you, they don't like you, and they don't want their father with you. <laughs> and that may never change, even as they grow up. They come to your house, they're going to turn your house upside down. These, you see, <laughs> this is the funny thing, ladies. When you meet a man with kids, you are really accepting all their baggage when you do that. You see, you're accepting the baby mama, the, the responsibility for the kids, and even if he's got other people in the background, you all of that, all that trouble you are inviting into your life. You can't be happy under those conditions at all. And now you're talking about this man wants to bring his kids who don't like you into your home because now in your home, he's going to show you that he can handle his kids. That's ridiculous. He can't. He can't. He hasn't. He hasn't. No. No, you don't want to be under that. You asking my opinion, I tell you, you don't need that headache. It'll be one of the worst decisions that you make in your life and you will regret it. And I'm surprised you with him. You understand? Because with him, these kids are always going to be in the background and in the foreground too. Because now since he wants to invite them to live over with with you or whatever. And that may be from the insistence of the baby mama. See, if you two have a home together and the baby mama sees you all over there, you know, understand, and she thinks you are living the life, she probably said, here's your kids. Here, you take care of your kids. And that's why he's pushing you to get them kids to live with y'all because it's coming from the baby mama. Don't get caught up in these tricks. Ladies, men got all kind of games to snag you. And this is one of them. This is one of them. Uh Uh-uh. He he can't handle those kids. When they come over there, they don't like you. They're going to do everything to tear you you apart, (laughs) which might be a good thing. You don't need to be with him no way. (laughs) Okay. 
Because I don't think the man's been honest with you all along. He should have told you right up when you met him. Yeah, he got kids and he's divorced or separated, whatever the situation is. And, you know, maybe he never married the woman. That would have been a red flag, too. Ladies, the thing is, it's a good thing for you to take your time when you meet a man. But don't meet him online. You can't get to know anything about him online. He can always present this persona that's enticing and exciting and it makes you want to get involved. And then he can talk you through it a whole year like this man did. Looked like he talked through two years of nonsense just to keep you dangling on the string and because you dangle. Yes, so then he says, maybe, maybe what was happening was he was with the baby mama them two years while he kept you dangling. Okay, follow me now. All right. So when him and the baby mama broke up, now he going to come and show his face to you, face to face. We going to do it together now. You see? All right. Now you sitting over here nice and pretty. Baby mama say, here, here your kids. You understand? You don't need that headache. My advice is to run. <laughs> and hopefully you're not tied up in this home situation with him that you can't get out of it. All right. Now, that's my advice, but, but you have free will now. This is only my advice. From my experience in life. Okay. But you have free will. And you need to do what's best for you. Okay. But if you're thinking about staying with this man. You need to meditate on it. You need to go inside yourself. So that the spirit would reveal to you. Whether this is the right situation for you. But on the outside looking in. I can tell you no. It's not. Okay. I hope you understand the message today. And I really, I really hope that you understand it. And I also hope that it's a message that can help others in a situation like this. You don't need a man who already has kids. You, you, you don't need that. And now you got to deal with the baby mom and all that. And it can even be an issue if he has adult kids. Because if they don't bond with you, they're going to give you hell the whole time you're with him. Ladies, think twice when you meet men with kids. And the thing about it, the older that you get, you're bound to meet a man who's had kids. And if he hasn't had any kids, you need to question that. Okay, question it. All right, especially if you're a young woman. I hope that uh, uh, the message today can help. Now, those of you who may have a question that you'd like for me to answer, my email address is in the description. And if you're looking for today's affirmation, the link is also in the description. And don't forget about your cap now. These caps are still available in my online store, and you'll find a link right in the description. I want to thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you for your comments and your letters. And a very special thank you to those that leave a donation. I really appreciate all of you. I wish you all the very best and happiness. And I really hope to see you next time.